Evening all and welcome to episode 38 of season 7 of Factory Town where I have discovered something a little bit interesting that I don't know if it's intended or not but um just spent about 10 minutes reading through patch notes and I can't find anything with it so maybe it's not. Uh, last episode I added the school to the train track here so trains could drop off goods here so we have a train here with our stamina spell books they should drop off in there and that should give us 50 points and it did it drops it off uh, and it went from uh, whatever number it was on it went up by 100 points um, which has been pointed out in the comments of the previous one that perhaps that is where this boost comes in this uh, this bonus here so instead of just getting um, like 50 points from a book it gets 100 points from a book which makes sense because it doubles I, I thought it was that every research you do um, would give you two instead of one because that's what this kind of says here uh, Doubles the output of related recipes and doubles knowledge gained from a research activity. So that's what I thought it was. I thought that, that it would be when you finish one cycle, it would give you two blips instead of one. But it doesn't. It just, just gives you one. So that's fine. But the reason it went up by 100 points and not 50, because well, I thought maybe one drop, one book got dropped off and went up, there appears to be a thing where if a train isn't dropping off at a station, it can only drop off two goods at a time, which is interesting. At least I, I've only tested this with uh, uh, the, the the spell book, so I haven't tested anything else yet. But I've got a crate here, uh, which has six items in it. You see, I've been testing a little bit here. And uh, if we unpause the game, we've got 44 in here. If it comes to the crate, it drops off two, and then it carries on. It drops two into the, into the crate. It does exactly the same with the school as well. Put the school there. And we'll move the train back in. So we have 42. So we come here, it goes down to, to 40, and then it goes there. So now we should have 38. There we go, because two got dropped off in there, and two got dropped off in the school. And that did not give us 200. It gave us just 100 from, from there. So it's not doubling the input, like we thought, but it is only dropping off two goods. I've tried this with a barn as well, and it does the same thing. And I'm a little confused by it because I can't see anything in the patch notes that mentions it only drops one or two goods at a time. And uh, what I haven't tried doing is uh, if, we, if we build a barn here, I'm gonna gonna destroy some books here. But yeah, you'll see. Oh, there you go. So that dropped off two, just two books. That's it. Okay. Let the coal train come by. Let's see what this does. See, the coal train stops for much longer, and it's dropping off two goods a second so is this train broken because you appear to be dropping off stuff just fine okay, I'm gonna gonna get the train to uh, go go stop go thank you right uh, you you train come back here uh, we don't want that I'm gonna yeah we'll lose some bits of bits there but that's fine so is it this train is broken? Perhaps? Let's move the carriage onto the back of this train. Just as a test. See if it goes there. No, it just dropped off two again. Is it the carriage that's broken? Maybe the carriage is broken. Something may be a bit weird here. Let's let's just grab another another crate. I've turned off this train stop here so that it doesn't drop any books in here. Because it works. Going into a station, it works fine. Not a problem. Let's do this. So let's see here. So boom. Okay, now you go and out unload 20 bread. So is this carriage broken? That the problem? Or is this just a limit of books, which would be very strange. Um, but I wanted to um, uh, put it into a crate so that we drop off 20 at a time and that can be filtered into the school. Could just filter it directly from the station via a belt, but then the caravan would grab as well. And I feel as if we can lose things, so. Let's uh, let's move you back a bit a little bit. Let's turn this on. 
So we'll drop off that and what we're going to do is I'm going to copy Right, I'm going to copy the train, click, copy the first carriage and hold control and click and then copy the second one and do the same and that should copy their filters which it has done, awesome I'm going to delete this train, goodbye we're going to put the train back here just so we can get fuel. There we go. The bomb. Awesome. Cool, cool. And then uh, we will go move it up here. Okay, it's picked up 50 goods. Let's move it back again. And let's see here whether we can get more than no it just drops two i am very confused by this because it just seems to be a limitation of the oh actually hold on oh yeah, you dropped the rest in there yeah um but you just dropped two more in there so there's some odd limitation here um, I tried it elsewhere I tried it with a with a barn I tried it with stuff here but it just seems to be something is very very odd with this I don't know I don't know what's going on with it I'm very confused the train doesn't have any signals or tags or anything on it that's different to anyone else. It's a brand new train. It's a brand new... Yeah, I, I am confused. So maybe... Maybe we just got to go with two at a time? That would be really bad. Um, I mean, I, I understand. I, I was thinking that if it is a case of the books come in and they give you 100 bonus instead of 50, um, then really it would only ever be able to drop two books in here wasn't great so that's why I went with the, the crate thinking the crate was there and then I thought does the crate have a limit of just two items per go but then I tried it with with someone else and it didn't and that that filtered down but it seems like spell books are just two items at a time which is extremely strange I don't get why it would be that way I have a feeling that's not intended I shall report this as a possible bug I don't know but um but anyway anyway there we go so we can do that and then that's, that's just going to go around and carry on doing its thing and we'll yeah i don't i don't there we go. so you get filled up by uh a... 50 ago i believe let me drop that down yeah yeah it's still 50 ago it's still 50 ago so that hasn't changed and every research tick just goes up by one. You're doing 2.5 a second and you need 15 work units. Unless this is doubled as well and it's just not showing us. Um, 15 divided by 2.5 is going to be 7. I, I can't do that. Uh, 15 divided by 2.5 is up. It'll be six seconds. Okay, so pause, right. Let me have a quick looky looky here. I can time this. No, that's just over six seconds. So yeah, according to my clock here anyway. So that's not sped up. So I am confused as to what this knowledge thing does. The, the doubles the output related to recipe. So if we made books here, we'd get double the amount of books. That's fine. But it, it says in the description right top there, also doubles knowledge gained from a research activity. Well, the research activity is this, this thing here, but it's not doing that. So... I put another school down outside of here. Go with six research.
one from workers. Nothing's highlighted yellow, but these numbers are exactly the same as these numbers. So I... I don't understand. I'll be honest with you, I don't understand. The only bonus we're getting from speed is from the happiness. Which is giving us plus 1.5. This doesn't get the happiness. But there's no difference to researching out here, ignoring the speed, than there is to researching in here in the knowledge area. So I... I don't... I'm being blind, I guess. I'm not seeing something. Um... Or maybe it's just not working as intended, but but hey ho, hey ho, um, whatever, whatever. We are we are fine for it at the moment. We'll get our civics research done very soon. So what we were going to do this episode is work on mana, and we were going to get these things all going, doing their thing, which uh, should be fairly simple. So. We need four refineries. Uh, I can't build because I need more mana brick. Where are we getting mana brick? Wasn't mana brick coming from... I don't know why they had a lot above it. Uh, wasn't mana brick coming from... Here? Yeah, that should be mana brick. Oh, I'll turn this off. Why did I turn this off? We were going to do something here. Oh yes, I was going to build a station here, wasn't I? That's what I was going to do, but I needed to delete that barn. But I need a barn here as well because I need to store some goods. So I think what we're going to do is um, we're going to put a station in there. So this will output into a station. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a barn onto the side. Which we're going to output into the barn. And the idea being that we will always have a storage of that because that will that will take it from here first and we'll always have a storage of um stuff uh the mana brick we'll just have 200 in stock so yeah one thing i wish the tortoise would show for stuff is if it's rollable or not I feel like that would be very useful to have to know because I put does polished stone. I mean, stone does does polished stone. I guess not. Cool, we got our fourth, fourth uh, town center. That's awesome. You're grabbing three ago and you are outputting three ago, so this is awesome. And then you're going into there, so there we are. So we've got our mana brick going, awesome, right? Okay, so. Um, we need to deliver the four elements here. The four, um, I want to spread them out. The four uh, earth, air, fire, water. That's what we need to, to do here. So, uh, earth. Air, earth, fire, whatever, whatever order, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, we've got all four of them there. So they need the same thing. They need um, air stone or whatever stone, and they need mana crystals. Now, mana crystals just get used up and depleted. So what we're going to do is we are going to copy this setup over here. And they literally just require... Uh, one every 10 seconds and this can produce one every four seconds so I think we're good say uh depleted mana crystal please and we can just go control c and control v on all of those to paste that so there we go so there we've got the recharge going on there and then what we need to do is bring in the we need to bring in a stack of crystals don't we which we have here 
and store 20 in your phone. So what I'm going to cut a hole in the track for a minute. And we are going to grab ourselves a caravan. We're going to say, hey, would you uh, take crystals to there? And then we'll do that one, that one, that one. Uh, we'll just fill them up with uh, 20 um, mana crystals. You're already full, so you don't need that. So um, let's fill that one instead. Um, so we'll just fill them up with 20 so they can be ready to go. And then we want to build um, some airship docks, I feel. I feel like that would be a good idea. If I build some airship docks, one, two, three, four. Okay. I'll just take it to there. Um, and we'll just filter these with the uh, crystals that we have. We'll go air, earth. Because these stones get used up, they don't get, no, they don't, the, the stones don't get spat back out again. So, water, here. Oh, uh, hold on, I've used up. Um, like that, and then we just literally have a, a belt come off each one, and then we just need four airships, and we have them dotted all around that we can deliver to here for the airships, and then we can drop off into barns or whatever here, or a single barn in the center, and uh, just output all four of them into a single barn for ethers. But then we're gonna sell ethers, so maybe we'll do a barn of each one and then a train station. Uh, maybe that'll work. 8, 16, 24. So, yeah, that's going to be enough to pick that one up as well. Okay. You can drop back in there. Not that you'll be able to because there's no space, so you might as well go. Um, with these enchanters, would these need up? They probably would, but I can't do it right now. Okay. Okay, so. So. Airships, can we make four airships? We can. Not traversable. We have to line our airships up here. Uh, oh. Nope, they've all just gone, no, we can't do anything. Okay, okay, so we need to manually find stuff. So, air crystals. Air crystals are going to be, oh, air crystals, sorry, air stones. Um, do we remember where we put them off? There's two there. There's the fire one. Oh, I must remember, I cannot right click when I have a unit selected. I normally right click to rotate the camera, um, or right click to drag the camera around. Uh, sorry, right click to rotate the camera and middle click to drag the camera. Um, so we've got those there. Where did we put the uh, the the air ones? I know we did it over here. But you deliver to there. You are Earth. So deliver there. You are water. Deliver here, and you are going to be fire, which is that one there. Deliver fire to here, and then we can pause the game, and they go, yay! Now they're not very quick. Airships are definitely not quick. Probably a rail would be quicker for this. And you could definitely transport more goods on a rail. Uh, although they, they deliver 100 to go, so yeah, I think a rail would be quicker. But airships are cool. So we're going to use airships for it. It's a bit slow. It's not fantastic, but whatever. Whatever. It's fine. If I went to four, then look like this. Do we want 
air, earth, water. Oh, I'm so glad that knows what it's doing there. So there we go. So we're delivering all that. And then we'd have another train station. Here. So another train station like that. And this train station would be filtered with the four different uh, ether types. Doesn't matter what order you do them in because... Unfortunately, in this game, you've got uh, like this menu here, which shows you um, all the goods in the game. And uh, for the crystal, for the magic magic system, it goes fire, air, water, earth. And the ethers go fire, water, earth, and air. And then the crystals go fire, water, earth, and air. So why the stones are a different way around, I don't get. And, and then the spell books, I think, are in the same order as the stones, but not in the crystals. It's, it, it, it's a bit of a weird thing how it goes. So you, you can't exactly get things the order you want to get them in. So, And then we've established with the houses. Oh, hello, you come back. Uh, with the houses when you go to the, uh, the goods here. Some of these go across, some of them go down, depending on the list. It's a bit strange. I, I don't, don't quite understand it, but... Overall, it's fine. Overall, it's fine. It's just, it's just do it in whatever order you want. The game figures it all out. It's not a problem. So that produces four ethers and one depleted mana crystal. The depleted mana crystal will come out into the recharger and then go back in. And we end up... 19... Your... 19... Why have we got 20? That's... Confusing. Why does that drop down to nineteen? Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? It's consuming what? So that yeah. So it consumes the one in use. So yeah. So we're always going to be down one. Okie dokie. Here comes the other airships coming back. Hopefully, there's the eighth one. There's that. They're kind of following the. Uh, the track. They, they, they. They. It's a bit strange. The arrows show you where they're going, but they don't actually. They. They still fly in straight lines. So like the far one will go across the map to here and then down to there pick up then come back again and then turn and go this way they always work in 90 degree right angles it's um just the way things are but it's fine but it's fine it's not a problem okay do this do this there we go. So we will our output stuff into a station. We can fill the station up with goods. Uh, do you know what? In fact, um, I'm going to change this um, because I don't want to store so much in the station. I'd rather keep some in. I don't think we use it for building anything, but I just don't see the point of storing that much in the station. Not right now. We might do later when we need to expand stuff because, again, the ethers do sell. So we could do that. Um, that's definitely doable. Um, so, yeah, that's nice and simple. But we also want to work on some other magic stuff because we want to upgrade the town centers. And we need a crown and necklace. So we need polished stone, iron plates, and earth crystals. And this needs gold iron plates and air crystals. Now, we are not mining gold at all. So let's correct that for starters. So what do we got over here? That's that, that. That. There is some gold right there. There's a lot of gold right there. Um, I think that's probably our closest gold. We've got some there, which we could connect to the rail system really easily if we wanted to. Some over there. You know what? I think we're going to go and use airships for this again because I feel as if. When it comes to mining, airships just makes more sense. Everything for iron, oh, because this is only running on underground resources now. 
yeah I, I feel like for, for these long distances doing this sort of thing um oh i completely forgot about this over here this is this our belt production yeah it's our belt production cool okay we've always got belts oh, cool. uh but yeah i feel like um the long range transportation although the uh airships are quite slow they just work they don't need anything um they don't you know they don't need a rail like a train they don't need a belt gun long distances they, they just they just fly back and forwards they don't need anything other than the initial infrastructure so i am quite happy with using them even if they are slower overall i feel like it's a it's a good thing good thing but let's see what we can do here where can i put this to get the most That's a little confusing. Why does it go up when I do that? That's from 60 to 61. Oh, is, is it underground? Is that, of course, it's counting the underground stuff, isn't it? Yes, of course, of course it is. Um, so I can't put this anywhere that's going to cover the entire lot um, without losing an awful lot of gold. Put it there, I lose two and I lose one on the top side. I think that's what we're going to go with. We'll delete those two. We will put a mine in here. Then we will smooth off this here. Put in another airship. Uh, airship dock. And, uh, an output on the mine for a shoot because we can into there and what did i do with the other ones did i supply them pickaxes or i think i had the yeah i think we've got the infrastructure to supply them pickaxes so that's what we're going to do here i'm going to go uh, pickaxe and then did i even filter the other ones i did not that's a potential issue because if it runs out of stone it could fill with pickaxes instead and oh, we'll cross that when we come to it uh, so you're going to fill with gold uh, gold takes a long time, really long time to mine. So, that's, uh, I don't know what, no, actually, no, stop, 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 stop. Um, we do want to deliver pickaxes here with the airship dock, but I don't want to actually have the mine go to the airship dock. What we want to do is, I'm going to flatten this all down here. And I'm going to fit in that there. I'm going to grab another mine over here. Boom. And we're going to put in a forge. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And you're going to make gold ingots. You need four every eight seconds. Okay? And you produce one every ten seconds because it's expensive to mine gold. So this is going to be an extremely slow process. Um, I don't know what we're going to go over here. I don't think we need gold bars for anything. Like, like ourselves, we don't need gold bars for anything ourselves. So, um, we'll just do this. We'll just do this. So, and then we'll. Something like this, this grabber will be pickaxes, and then this will be pickaxes, and then gold bars. Gold bar, gold bar, gold bar, or gold ingot, I should say. There we go. So now we can drop off uh, stuff to this, as well as pick up goods from there. Yeah, and that will just get us some gold, which is awesome. So. There we go, it's going to take a while, it's going to take a long time to do anything, but that's fine because, yeah, what's the rush, what's the rush? So we'll leave this here, we'll come back next time, hopefully when we have some gold bars made, 
and uh, we can start transporting things around. Um, and uh, let's speed this up actually. Let's just throw in 10 people into that because we've got some people, so we're okay. Just gonna cost us blue coins, gotta keep an eye on that. We'll, we'll see. But yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll do this here, we'll come back next time, and we will uh, carry on from there and hopefully get ourselves some. Uh, some upgrades for the base so thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun